Hello, this is Marcel Serzin from BCD. In this WebSmart video, you'll learn how you can reduce the PHP learning curve with WebSmart PHP. You'll see how you can create a PHP program over a DB2 file in two minutes, even if you have no PHP, HTML, or web programming experience. If you're like most IBM I programmers, you have an RPG background. You know green screen subfile programming and how to build complex business applications. But moving to the web can be daunting. There's a whole new programming paradigm to learn, not to mention different languages like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and server-side language, in this case PHP. PHP is a great language for RPG programmers to learn because it can be written using familiar constructs to RPG programmers. For example, it can be written procedurally, and in RPG there are subroutines and subprocedures. In PHP the equivalents are functions. PHP was created specifically for web development. It's also very popular with over 20 million websites created with it. However, there's still a significant learning curve to creating web applications with PHP. On top of that, you're probably still expected to maintain all your existing green screen programs. That's one reason why BCD created WebSmart PHP, to reduce that learning curve and get you productive building robust commercial quality web applications quickly. I'll now step you through creating a fully functional PHP program over a DB2 file using a template included with WebSmart. WebSmart PHP is not just a development environment, it's a complete application development stack. When you start WebSmart PHP, you choose a template to work with. You can use record level access or SQL. We recommend using SQL, which is a universal language, very frequently used with PHP, gives you the flexibility of going to another platform later on. The templates determine the look and feel of your program. So there are different template families included with WebSmart. And you can copy a family and create your own custom look. They also determine the functionality of your program. If you want an order entry transaction program, you would use the input capable page at a time template. Or if you want a work with program, you would use page at a time maintenance. So we'll go ahead and create a work with orders program. You will now go through a series of wizards prompting you for things like the program name. So it's really asking you a series of questions. What your program title is, what your FTP path is, in this case the IFS. The next series of prompts asks you just your program name, number of records, and do you want to provide filter fields. You can then choose if you want to allow people to edit records, delete records, or add. In this case we won't allow them to delete. You can always change those options in the code after the wizard. We'll now add our DB2 file, the order master file, as well as a second file, the customer master file, so that we can retrieve the customer name to go with the customer number from the order file. We just drag and drop the customer number field, which is the keys to the file used in the join. Now we will select which fields we want for the table or the subfile list. We can pick fields from either of the files just by double clicking or by using the arrows. The next prompt asks us which fields do we want on the single panel when editing or displaying a record. We'll pick all the files there or all the fields. And the last one is the filters. So we'll just pick the date, status, and customer number. And just like that, all of the code is created by the template for a fully functional program, all the HTML and the PHP. So let's go ahead and launch this program, which means it's going to FTP it to the IFS and open it in a browser. And just like that, we have a fully functioning PHP program hosted on our IBM I. It includes very fast response time and paging. You can also click on the edit icon to update a record. It's all done in real time. You can also click on column headings for sortable ascending and descending. You can also position or filter the subfile, add a record, and much more. The template created all the CSS, all the HTML for the presentation, as well as all the logic for the subfile handling and the editing of the record. You then can customize anything that you want in this program. All customizations can be done in the WebSmart IDE, which has many productivity tool features, such as separating the PHP code from the HTML for easier reading of the code, and is also more similar to how RPG programmers are used to coding with the separation of RPG and DDS. You can also drag and drop database file fields into the HTML by left-clicking or right-clicking for input fields. There's also an HTML visual editor for people who are new to HTML. You can also drag fields into that and change any text on the screen. You can also go to the PHP tab. Once again, that tight integration with your database files for dragging and dropping fields into the logic. All the PHP is coded here for you for the program. 
There's also 5,000 PHP functions included in WebSmart that you can drag and drop in that have syntax checking and color coding. Included in those functions are the i5 functions that are included <clears throat> with Zen Core on the as part of the i5 PHP toolkit. Things like working with data areas, user spaces, and probably the most popular is calling a program. We simplify the process of calling an RPG program by creating a smart snippet wizard, another series of prompts that asks you for a program name, library, and your parameters, and in return generates all the PHP code to call your RPG or COBOL programs. You can build absolutely any kind of PHP application you want, from a full-blown ERP or CRM system, to a web services consumer or provider, to a web 2.0, AJAX-driven, B2B site. BCD has over 20 years experience producing application development tools. We also provide the best support in the industry. Click the button to learn more about WebSmart PHP or to download a free trial of the full version of WebSmart PHP so you can see for yourself how you can reduce the PHP learning curve and start building web applications today.